Yes, well, Monstrat was itself um, settled by uh, Irish people. There were two streams coming to Montserrat. Some came from St. Kitts, which is nearby, near to Montserrat, because they couldn't get on with the Irish uh, Roman Catholics who were also in that colony. And another stream came from Virginia um, for that very same purpose. So there's a sense in which Montserrat became a, a sort of known Irish asylum uh, in, 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 the, in the region, in the sub-region in the, in the 17th century. In, in fact, some also came from Barbados, uh, some that Cromwell had sent to Barbados. In fact, the phrase used to be used that they were Barbados. They were people who were sent as a, ma as a means of punishment. And some of those came uh, from, from Barbados as well, two months ago. I think some came against their, their will, although not totally, because there was a promise. Indentured labor came with a promise. It's a sort of contract. People indented themselves, as it were, to work for a certain period, maybe five, seven, ten years, after which they would get a plot of land, or perhaps get some money and return home. But the Irish who came to Montserrat and in the Caribbean were not a homogeneous group. There were some who came to seek their fortune. They were adventurers. In fact, some of the, the, the some people called Blake of Galway's came to Montserrat from Barbados and came here to seek a fortune and did find a fortune because not only do we have people called Blakes, but we still have a Blake estate um, going back uh, to those years.